Hey guys, so the following video is a little interview we did with our friends Courtney and Dean talking about their merch business, also their private label business, and their FBA business. I thought it was pretty interesting. They also sell on Amazon you know, through private label and FBA. I think we're going to do some more videos like this because we do know quite a few people that do that in addition to their merch business. And I think it's an interesting view into how the Amazon ecosystem works and also how they fit that business in with the stuff that they're doing. So, hope you enjoy. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. Thank you. Hi, guys. Um, <laughs> we have a couple of our friends here tonight. We're going to do a little interview with them. Um, they both work in merch, but they also do a lot of other things in Amazon, and they have a couple of other different businesses they work in. Um, this is Courtney and Dean. Um, we decided we were going to have, yes, uh, <laughs> we decided we are going to have a little bit of like a double date uh, interview tonight. Um, so, my wife is joining us on this one. And we just thought it would be interesting to show kind of a different aspect of Amazon than just the merch aspect and also how it fits into their everyday business. So can you guys give me a little quick introduction, what you guys do, and how you got into merch and everything else? All right, so we got into merch about a year ago, and we just left it on ice. Oh, actually, yeah, 2015 when it first started. Yeah. Chris was like, apply. And we're like, yeah, Chris Green was like, apply, apply, apply. Yeah. And we did it for like a good solid two weeks, and we're like, eh, put that on. <laughs> you know, and because we're just we're more dedicated to like Amazon FBA, mm -hmm. and it was just that was our gear, and um, we're still running strong with that. And then all of a sudden, over the summertime, Courtney was like, "Hey, we're going to try this merch thing again," and. Um, it does. It does help when you see Matt and Aaron over here just putting monster numbers out here. You're like, wait a second, now. <laughs> maybe there's something to do this thing. So we said we're gonna try it. Right. So how long have you guys been doing Amazon FBA? Uh, 2015, like early. Yeah, two, wow, two, three, three years. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we, we've been pretty well with it. It's been it's been fun. You know, we love the whole aspect of getting the product, sending it in, not even have to worry about the customer service aspect of it. Just right. Worry about warehouses because I got a, I have a brick and mortar business and that's about the biggest added, the biggest headache is customer service. For sure. You know, you, you can do everything right in the world and you're going to get one phone call on Friday at the end of the afternoon and something's going to happen. Yeah. But that's yeah. the thing about Amazon, it just takes it all. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's the beauty of Amazon FBA. I mean, even you've got a little bit of customer service involved in it, whereas, like, merch is essentially totally, completely hands-off. Um, but still, it's compared to an actual business. I mean, I own my own business, too. Like, the customer service you have to do for Amazon FBA versus actually having to handhold actual customers, night and day. Totally, completely different. Um, some of you guys who found uh, merch through uh, Reezy's group from doing books and everything else, Dean is actually the guy that used to get Reezy most of his scanners back in the day, too. So you may have bought a scanner from Dean back in oh, the day. Oh, did Because that's where we got oh, our yeah, first scanner. Yeah, we got our scanner from you. <laughs> I mentioned the scanners. Right? Like, never die. Yeah. yeah I showed her my, like, uh, message request. And, like, the first five were, like, do you have a scanner? Or, right. I have a problem, I have a problem with, with the scanner. And I was like, uh, yeah. Yeah. It is what it is. What it is. I mean, ours was uh, ours is still working just fine. We don't use it anymore because we don't do books anymore. But like, it worked the other day when I fired it up to show my friend how to use it. So yeah, it, it lo we we loved up on that because it. I mean, before before I unloaded them on the market, people were charging outrageous fees oh, yeah. for things like two hundred dollars yeah. for like a brand new one, like one fifty for a used one. And I hate to say I bottomed the market out, but I just don't think that you should rob somebody when everybody should at least have an opportunity. So we just said here. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I mean it was it was crazy. I remember like because they would sell out instantly. Like yeah. they they put a link up and they would sell it instantly, <laughs> and then you'd go looking for a scanner and like the next closest thing was two hundred dollars, two hundred twenty dollars. Yeah. yeah. So, whatever. Yeah. It, it, My manager at work, we went from doing nothing but like ink and toner and printers. To him working on KDC, like, <laughs> day, in, day out, you know, testing on replacing just batteries. And everything it's just we gotta get these things out because as soon as you like would put them out there, it just yeah, instantly. You know, we, we thought about trying to to come back with them, but 
the sources have just dried up. You never know. Something could land on your lap again, but it's just being in the right place at the right time. Right, right, right. You got it. So now with uh, with merch, you guys kind of started getting serious, kind of about the same time that we did, like right around like May, June, somewhere in there, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah. And then, so how long did it take you guys to see results? Like once you guys started getting dedicated to it? Not too long. Only after like a few weeks, you know, yeah, you once, started to sell. Yeah, once I knew it was taking off is when I would talk to her. All I would hear was coaching. <laughs> 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 And it was like, what is that and everything? And that was before you had the two apps. Right. To where, you know, one could change and then another one. Mario In the Mario coin. Yeah. And, uh, I was just really consistent with it. It was something I could actually do all the time. Right. Yes. Yeah. So every day I was uploading. We had, like, this bundle of, like, shirt designs. And we just, like, threw them on there. And I was like, wow, they're actually starting to sell. Like, yeah. Like, okay. Yeah, that's that's that Courtney's helps. real big strength. Is like with our with our Amazon FBA business, she does a lot of listings and photos, mm-hmm. and she handles that whole aspect of it. She's really good at it. And now you do this, which is basically catering to her strengths. I mean, right. it, it's crazy the potential. Yeah, well, you could be doing any kind of design, probably like you too, Aaron. But you're doing like Etsy and design, and yeah. I mean, it's like you know, just like y'all. There's the brains and there's the look. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> why do you think I'm married then? Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's why she's with me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, how was uh, how was fourth quarter for you guys with merch? Ugh, I just died before you got going. I started with, like going, 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 and then like crash. Yeah, I mean, I, Courtney was regularly outselling us every single day, like especially through November. You guys, you guys did a whole lot better than we did. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I know that for all of us, once that freeze happened, it kind of died off. And then our numbers kind of came back up um, towards the end of the month just because we got unlocked, I think, before pretty much anybody else. And then when that happened, all of our shirts got unfrozen. And so we had pretty good numbers towards the, to close the month out. Um, but you're in the 2K tier now, Courtney? Yeah, I just got teared up. Yeah, we did too. So. Yeah. That's cool. It'll pick up again. I know after tear up, sometimes things kind of die too. Right. Well, I just think right now this this week is just it's super slow everywhere. It doesn't matter. So there's just no sales happening anyways. Um, I'm just thankful that like we get one or two a day right now. Like I'm surprised we haven't gotten a zero at this point. Yeah, I'm glad it's not a zero. Like I don't want to see that. I know, right? I hate seeing that in the morning too. Like for like a while, cause, you, know, you never see a zero. You wake up and you have sales. Yeah. Right. Like I'll wake up. It's like seven thirty. I'm like five sales. Okay, I wake up and it's like. No product to be listed at this time no, or whatever. I'm like, no sales. I don't know how to do. I don't know how to deal with that. Yeah. So, how does your guys? How does your guys' process work? Like, how do you guys? Do you guys do any of the design work? Do you guys do just the uploading and you outsource everything? Mostly just outsourcing. Yeah, we do all the outsourcing. Mm-hmm. I mean, we handle the uploads aspect of it, and she handles the bullet points. <laughs> okay. Um, my, I guess I handle. One part that I handle is I handle with the VAs is basically just getting them the links that, that, that we have interest in and um, taking it from there and then handing it to them and making them basically process about between 10 to 15 a day. We have, we have two designers. They want to do 15, but we had to like, we couldn't have 10. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. So we, didn't want to, we didn't want to lose the designers because when the, when the freeze came. Yeah good designers and it was like <laughs> put them back out there to the wolves right as soon as somebody you know it'd be like you lost them. and but we just we told them it up, keep it going. yeah we was like we can guarantee you 10 designs a day and you know once this freeze happened you know i'm false i'm worse mine i'm thinking in february mm-hmm. like, this is going to be running for long haul so y'all come home because we just brought on a va to to do some other tasks for us, but we, we we trained her to to do the um to go get the URLs for us, do the research and all okay. that kind of stuff. Because we were originally going through Fiverr, mm-hmm. and the person we were using started to be really inconsistent, and we was like, okay, let's let me find somebody, and we we found somebody through our designer. Mm-hmm. That's how we found both. Actually, and the guy that he recommended was actually kind of like a better designer. Than yeah. Rich. Oh, yeah, really? It's funny. 
I get I get the B team designer. <laughs> <laughs> Like he's like scaling. That's like all this other guy's doing. Yeah. Like scaling like certain things. Yeah, it's cool because she can tell like the, the, the better designer like this is what I'm looking at, and he takes it, and he's able yeah. to to make it his own and it's done well. Yeah, and if we don't have any ideas, he's like, oh, should I just do this or this? He'll just go to work. He'll just start making up his right. own stuff now. That's what I wanted all along. Yeah. Right. Somebody who can just think. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's that was definitely our experience with our designer was that like she just she didn't have the ability to think on her own. Like she didn't have the ability if you didn't give her very concrete, you know, exact descriptions in terms of what you're looking for. Good luck. You had no idea what was coming back. Well, I always do that. It's like Christmas week, and you're trying to do stuff. It's like go ahead and work. Yeah. Do something. When yeah. we first started, we were like, okay, we gotta get a BA, and then we went to Upwork. And we found like four, we had four applicants that we were like, okay, we're going to try with. And me coming from the world of, I got to give you how to start, how to end, middle and end to the design. And Courtney is like, no, this, it shouldn't be like this thing. You should be telling them the color of the font. And, uh, right. Right. Uh, and, 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 and me, what font you were even doing. Exactly, down to the font. Really? It was like, Bean, you're really just doing it yourself. Yeah. And they're just, <laughs> yeah. they're, they're laying it out, you know? Yeah. So it was just like, all right, we're going to bite more into finding somebody that can do better. And then we, we found out through RJ, I guess, or whoever, about the whole line mm-hmm. the, of yeah. them. And um, we just put it out there. I don't know that we locked up. Really the guy hard. we started with, too, was just doing, like, we're paying him per design. It wasn't, like, so much a month. Right. It was we, a duck, you know, as a design. We actually picked exactly. him up because somebody had him before, and they just, they couldn't, they didn't have enough work for him. Oh, okay. And he, he was like, you know, I'm waiting for this other person to come back, and then he started to solve the, what he was able to do, and we were like, we're just going to lock him down. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing where it's like you're pinching pennies and sometimes it costs you dollars. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly right. So, Dean actually has my uh, my favorite research technique out of anybody I've ever heard of in terms of if you get stuck in a rut and you need to find a niche to make designs for. Um, you want to talk about that, Dean? Yeah. Um, it's, it's the simplest thing to do, but nobody really thinks of it. I just go and use a, um, a random word generator and take that random word and actually put it inside of a merchant former and you might be thinking okay well I'm going to do ghost designs for Halloween or whatever and you're just going to type in ghost well at the, you're going to only want to think of so many words but that random you know generator is just going to give you words you're not even thinking of mm-hmm. and we just copy that in there and it's not just picking up what the title of that particular word is it's going back to the bullet points and, and that random word could be used somewhere in that, you know, right? That, or whatever that, that shirt or that design. And it's cool because I was talking to you one time, and I said, you know, what's a good number of you know so, uh, sales over the course of the month? You know, I'm, I'm actually thinking like two. And I think you brought me up. You're like, no, it needs to be like five. Mm-hmm. You know, sales a month or four or five to be considered a decent design. And next thing you know, we were able to, you know, weed through the weeds and, and find stuff. Right. I think, I think people often underestimate, like, how many sales you can get at a certain, <laughs> at a certain BSR. Like, people don't realize that, like, a 600K BSR shirt, you know, consistently sells between, like, five to seven times a month. And if you have a portfolio that has, you know, a thousand of those shirts, that's a lot of sales. Oh, yeah. Shirts that rank, like, 300K and no selling, like, every day. Yeah. Like, yeah. Or... Yep. Okay. And I feel like if you're you're chasing that uh, idea of I gotta find that one shirt that's gonna take off and sell me two thousand copies, I mean you're gonna be chasing that forever, and it, like the chances of it happening mm-hmm. are slim to none. Or you know, like I would rather just put out good designs, and if one happens to take off, great. But if I'm consistently yeah. selling five times a month on that shirt, that's I'm I'm good with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So exactly. Be consistent all year. Be consistent with it. I mean, that was kind of our deal. I mean, I know y'all y'all came upon that eclipse thing, mm-hmm. and you know y'all looked up with that, and we were like, well, crap, we missed out on that. And we had a few. But yeah, we, it's too late. Not nothing. Like we 
we were grabbing pennies on the table. Y'all were over there. Like, <laughs> I mean, and that was just that was just random. I mean, at that point, we barely knew what we were doing. Yeah, really. Like, <laughs> like we were still like, all right, let's right. do the eclipse. It's, it's all about being in the right place at the right time. Yep. For sure. Yeah. Once and, you get going, those balls, yeah, you're just gonna always be the one ranking showing up. For sure. Yeah. yeah, and it's it's about being just different enough than the rest of your competition too. Like you got to have something that doesn't look like everything else because that's that's the biggest takeaway I had from our clip stuff was it was very different from everything else that was out there, and that's why I think it sold really well. Um. So I know Courtney uh, does a lot of the work in terms of like uploading. Do you also help to kind of come up with ideas for stuff too? Like I know you guys have a researcher, but do you off- also offer input okay. in terms of like this is kind of where I think we should be going? Because I think you had done pretty well with some ideas that you've gotten from your kids, right? Yeah, and then I'll like scale it out like a bunch of different things and everything I could possibly think of. Yeah, and so, I just like make every like all these for yeah. sure. I mean, you got, I think that's one thing that people want to do is they want to they don't they, they get up they get over something that's selling good but they don't like into that niche mm-hmm. yeah. I mean you get a hold of like the you know one one shirt and all of a sudden it's like well what else is out there and it, it will shock you what yeah. else is out there that you can make a, just of that niche and you can make that niche your own simple variation so. mm-hmm. that's it we, we found more evergreen niches that to sell all of a sudden you see one sells like five times a day you just need to focus on what else is relative to that, to that right it's a lot better than Halloween or oh, for sure I didn't that did horrible for us. The evergreen yeah. stuff was just selling, selling, selling. Yeah. Yeah, it was, yeah. It's, it's one thing that I think that we kind of made a mistake on after the eclipse. Instead of focusing on on the evergreen stuff, we kind of jumped in onto the Halloween stuff. And the same thing. We had a couple shirts that did okay, but, like, overall, it was really disappointing. We had so many designs that are coming off right now because they were Halloween designs that never sold. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah. And, being, and being where everything's, like, you know, down to, like, a certain number of uploads... Let's pretend like you were uploading 20 per day. Mm-hmm. We have five for upload a day. Yeah. Well, your wheels are going to be going backwards because even if you upload five, you're going to have... And that's exactly co- right. That's yeah. exactly what's happening to us right now. I mean, it's a slow, steady climb down just because we can't keep enough yeah. to keep up with it. Yeah. You yeah, have like down like almost 70 or 80 since like before Q4 started. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Like we were almost yeah, like, maxed out at 1,000 when the freeze happened and we were like at... Like eight ninety five when yeah. we were unlocked, and I was like, <laughs> yeah. so, oh, no. but and they were yeah. all Halloween. Like I probably like ninety percent of them were mm-hmm. Halloween. I'm just like, go away. I just we, whatever. We don't <laughs> like, and everyone else can do all the Halloween. I <laughs> exactly, because everybody's battling. They're battling yeah. for that, 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 yep. those holidays. Y'all can have them. Yeah. Yeah, and I mean, there's there's nothing wrong with throwing some stuff out there and like taking an attempt, you know, taking a swing at it. But we definitely over index. We had just you know all of our designs for like probably a three week period were Halloween. Like we had probably over two hundred designs up just for Halloween. Yeah. And you know, it just when you do that, it just it's a huge chunk of designs that we could have been selling in December for Q4 that we just didn't have an opportunity to upload. Yeah. If they were selling, it would have been hidden probably. But yeah. yeah. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> So, I know that uh, Dean had kind of started up a design site, like, right before Q4. Um, are you guys still doing that? Yeah. It was a while before Q4, actually. Was it? Yeah. It was, like, fall. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, no, we started that site. I remember. I remember. <laughs> it was over the summertime. I mean, the, summer. the main reason we started the site was because everybody was going to, like, Fiverr.com. And you never knew if that one designer was going to sell your thing or sell a design over there. And, I mean, we what? figured we'd come up with $5merch.com. Yeah. yeah. We'll say his idea. That was my idea. <laughs> you know, what do <laughs> we? We have time for this. Yeah. But we have so many extra designs and stuff. And yeah. we're kind of just trying to go with our niches and like everything. Right. Else we just know. Right. We're not yeah. like well, I think I think the benefit of it too is like you know, you kind of know where it's coming from. Whereas like if you're getting some random designer on Fiverr, especially if you're just starting out, like and you have no idea how to figure out if this stuff is trademarked, if it's copyrighted, if it's something this person ripped off from another shirt and he's reselling it to you, you know, yeah. at least there's a, a name and a face behind the site. You know, you know kind of where it's coming from. And 
mean, you know, I was sitting there trying to figure out, like, what's the, you know, the motive behind the, the price? I mean, $5 is, you know, it could be, but at the same time, you think the value of the research you're getting in, that could be a niche mm-hmm. right there that you can kind of dial into. Right. You know, I mean, and I mean, that's, that's worth it. I mean, she, you know, is kicking tail with it. I'm not so much. I mean, I'm gonna work on. Yeah, like I'm at the. I've sold like 600 shirts. And I'm stuck at the 500 tier, and it's basically because my designs. I was putting them on the website, right? And you know, I'm like at like 300 uploads with just going backwards right now. With my my massive two uploads a day, <laughs> and then, you, know, you know, but at the same time, just taking that and then feeding it out there. I mean, we sold we sold them for quite a few. I mean, it's, we haven't gone out there and, like, mass advertised it or anything like that because we, you know. Run out of design yeah, pretty quick. put them out there. We try to put as many as we can per day, and when they, they go, they go. Right. And I uh, got people that have had success with it. You know? A lot of repeat people. Yeah, a lot mm-hmm. of repeat people. One of his friends said he sold, like, every single design he's got. Yeah. Oh, wow. Really cool. That's cool. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's all about the niche because when we, when we get the designs that morning, so that research is, is, is literally we give research designer designer us you know within 24 hours so you got you know something that's active right now not something that was created two weeks ago right out there and they may limit how many times a month they, they release stuff but we try to stay fresh and the research is just fat more valuable than what you're paying for just the design. For sure, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, like, just having knowing that it's like actually like research on Amazon too. Like, these are shirts that are selling, you know, niches that are selling on Amazon versus just random shirts that you might be getting in a bundle. Um, you know, that you have no idea where the research or the process is coming from. Any of that stuff. Yeah. Right. You know, because we got basically got two things. You got a five dollar design. You got a nine dollar design. The five dollar design is a simple monocr- you know, one color design. It could be white. It could be this. It could be text, or it could have an image with text. You know, but it's geared toward if you sell one shirt, or depending on how low you sell, you sell two shirts. You've made your money back, mm-hmm. and you got out of the pocket X amount of dollars and everything. The nine dollars is going to have multicolors, you know, intricate designs. So. Some bundles we've been doing. Yeah, we started doing bundles too. Okay, because cool. it, you know we got we got one where they're we got like a three pack, and I mean, now you could get. I wouldn't do long sleeves right now because she's telling me long sleeves are out of stock. Yeah. Yes. Processing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean that's uh, Courtney was killing those too. I know. Yeah. I know they disappeared. <laughs> yeah, but you know you could put one design on three platforms, the premium standard and long sleeves. And that, that one design covers your, yeah. your solid day of upload right there. I'm still yeah. uploading a draft right now. Right. So yeah. When you do bundles, are they all in the same niche or are they different? Or like how do you how do you bundle them really together? Similar. They're really in the same niche. Yeah. Because nice. the, re- the reason why, the reason, the way it is is because we'll get 15 designs for that, um, that day. Mm-hmm. And we look at them and we're like, okay, well, we can do one design of, you know, just say this particular phone or we can give a lot of value because some people won't value. They'll pay the extra you know, they'll save a few dollars but they'll buy all three. Mm -hmm. Exactly, but every design, they'll all be different. Right. You know, so you spread it across and every design will have at least a minimum of five sales of what the the, the design we were looking at that we tried to make right, with our research with our mm-hmm. research and everything we make sure it's had like even the five sales in the last 30 days i think like, exactly so you know for that particular word with that <laughs> particular only keyword you know it should show you that all of a sudden that one niche had five urls bing 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 so that could be that's something that's hot right now right mm-hmm. so why until okay okay that's just really different from like everybody I feel like except that I sell like he doesn't sell and stuff he sells I like never sell it's mm-hmm. like so random depending on your brand and stuff <laughs> <laughs> you know okay. I think it really depends on the good brand right yeah, yeah. Like for, what's gonna... sure. for sure um do you mind sharing like what your numbers were for like December Courtney just give us an idea what you guys did 
think it was almost 900 shirts and like 5,000. Nice. Or died out. 5,000. Yeah, that's that's super that's solid. So good. Yeah, I mean, because we we're at like six. Yeah, we're at like we're at like six thirty shirts. I think sold the last time I looked, and right around like thirty five hundred bucks. Um, you know, it's kind of the same thing. It was up, plateau, like nothing, and then it came back towards the middle of it. Whereas I think I think most sellers, especially like you guys and Kristen Harris and some of the other people we talked to, like everything was taken off really really nice, and then suddenly just the bottom fell out. Yeah. 70 a day, 70, 70. That was like the 99, and then it was like, boom. Yeah. 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 So. I was like, yay! Yeah. <laughs> so I've been planning it, and I had like across the niches, and I had lots of designs. I wasn't trying to go for like one shirt. I was trying to go for across them all. Yep. And they were all selling like 15 a day. We're selling one. But then it started to be like two, and then it started to be three and four a day. You know what I mean? Like the yeah. snowball effect. Yeah. Yeah, I mean that's 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 what you're going for is you want to have a multitude of shirts that are selling yeah. decently. You don't need to have one or two shirts because if that one shirt or two shirts gets throttled, then suddenly like your entire yeah yeah we raise your prices. Yeah. So we'll see other people that I have you know they'll outsell her number wise, mm-hmm. but her dollar amounts will. Yeah. Yeah, so, we, uh, we we did the same thing going into fourth quarter. We raised all of our prices, and it's, you know, literally, and, and I mean, I think, honestly, the next, that would be my advice next year in fourth quarter, too, even though we're going to have, obviously, we're bumping our prices because the royalties are higher. I think in fourth quarter next year, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to raise my prices a couple of bucks because people don't care. Like, they literally, they just, they, they want to get a present for whoever. This looks good. This is what I'm buying. Yeah. I mean, then $20 for a shirt, $24 for a shirt, that's a pretty cheap present. <laughs> So people are like, cool, I'm done. <laughs> what are you guys pricing at now when you upload? So I'm playing around with a couple of things right now. Just like what we had a lot of success with last year was starting our price off low. And then as we got sales, raising the price up as it went along, just to kind of get some sales velocity. Um, <coughs> so I started doing that right now. Um, so we have a bunch of stuff priced that we just uploaded right now that are right at eleven ninety nine. Obviously, we're going to have to raise that once January 15th comes around. But it's mostly just to spark some sales, get some sales velocity, and then we'll slowly raise the price back up. So I think we're going to end up, you know, probably right around like nineteen ninety nine for standards and then twenty one ninety nine for premiums. Uh, maybe a little bit higher um, just because I'm selling premiums at twenty one ninety nine right now. So it might be worth it to try and price a little bit higher. And it depends on the niche, too, like yeah. in, in what's selling and in, in yeah, yeah. around it. Because you don't want to be like 24 and everybody's like 21. Because <laughs> yeah, they're going to be like, I don't want your shirt. <laughs> so. Then a new shirt at $12, you can't same brand really do that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, that's one thing I think that helped us, and I'm sure it helped you guys too, being on Amazon for FBA and private label. Like, you guys see that price actually does matter. Like, when you're selling something, like, the price of the item does matter. You'll notice, like, as you guys, I'm sure you guys use a repricer um, to reprice your stuff and everything else. Like, the market matters. You can't just randomly throw a number up there and just expect it to sell for that number. Right. I'd imagine you'd be mad if I, if I were to cut you on a private label. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be going through my prices like, what the heck is this? Like, I'm going to suffer on together. He'd be like, he'd like drop his prices. What do you mean? tell me. <laughs> like, no wonder I've been selling it. Yeah. <laughs> you know what's right, man? Uh, that's what it is. Well, yeah, and I, I didn't know, I didn't know he was going back to the 11.99 theory again. But. Really? <laughs> the reason, the reason we're going, I'm, I mean, for me, I'm doing 17.99 at the gate uh-huh. is so we can we can combat any AMS ads. Yeah. You know that way, if you do so, you can at least run some AMS and offset that cost and everything. Right. Yeah. I um, I'm still planning on running AMS ads um, towards the stuff. Um, I don't mind running the shirt at a loss a little bit if I feel like the design's good and I think it's going to sell just to get it out in front and, and to get some sales velocity going. Um, I just, I think that, uh, it's a matter of just getting sales at the beginning. You know what I mean? Like when a shirt goes up, like it definitely seems to help the algorithm. If your shirt was uploaded recently and then it sells right away, like then Amazon goes, okay, well this is probably a good shirt. So it shows it more and it just kind of snowballs it. So I'm just trying to replicate that. Yeah, no, exactly. Um, that's what they want to see. They want to see traction. Do you see them keeping with the ranks? I, so... I was thinking with the way that they'd kind of made the BSRs disappear going into December that maybe this was going to be a, a permanent thing. Like maybe it was going to be something that Amazon was doing to, to combat copycats. But it seems like all the BSRs are coming back, so it just looks like it was a function of the throttling. Personally, 
I would absolutely, like, I think it would actually be a good idea. I know it would cause some problems for people in terms of research and everything else, but if you're smart, you can find a way around it. Like, you can okay. figure that information well, out. Come up with software, though, and programs that track sales. Yeah, exa exactly. I mean, you, you can just, you can tell just based upon, like, if you've been doing it for a while, like, you know kind of what the niches are selling and everything else. Like, when you search by t-shirt and the autocorrect or the autocomplete, like, it'll tell you what's selling. Um, so, you know, there's a part of me that wouldn't mind it disappearing altogether just because I feel like it would help combat some of the other things that are going on. I don't know. Have you guys had to deal with any copycats, like um, infringement reports? Yeah, I am. <laughs> 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 yeah, we kind of are uploading sometimes the same shirt from the designer. We didn't know, we didn't know it mattered. They're yeah. not going to report each other, but apparently sometimes they find them. Yeah, we've had uh, we've had That's a funny. couple of different times we've had to file infringement reports, and one of them was like a serious pain in the ass because the guy went back and like re-uploaded the shirt after we did it, and then I had to, and then I had to go back through and, and refile it on like individual ASINs because he uploaded wow. it to like different yeah you know, like different versions of it. It was a gigantic pain in the ass. So it, it was one of her favorite shirts too. It sold really well, so she was like furious. She was ready to throw something. I actually won a copyright thing. Someone tried to kick me off, and I like showed them we bought the stuff, and we won. So I got to keep it. That's good. Yeah. yeah, I mean that's that's one of the things I do worry about with because it's a little bit like wild wild west. Like people just kind of throw things out there, and like Amazon, it's the first person that reports it is the one that wins generally. Yeah. Right. Not always. If you're like, boom, boom, I got this. I got the date that I bought it. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, that's the only that's the only downside is you got all these people out there, jockeys out there. They can just call. That's the issue. Big thing. We can get you in trouble. Yeah. You know, I mean, with, with the FBA, you got to worry about uh -huh. buyer feedback and all that kind of stuff. With this, you don't have to worry about it as much. Right now, I see that's the only big issue. Yeah. As and far as getting your you know, danger. Yeah. And it's like, uh, it's kind of, it's just frustrating because. I don't know. It's like you have to keep up with it, and like it's it's hard. Like you don't. I don't even want to look because I don't even want to know. But at the same time, I'm like, I can't have people like mirror imaging my stuff and re and like trying to yeah. sell it. Like that is such crap, oh, and yeah. it's just and yeah, and like it's such a process to get it taken down. And yeah, ugh, the other day I found a shirt that was at like 47k. One that was hidden of mine, and they copied it. And they were basically probably selling it through Q4. I was like, what the heck is this? Yeah. 47,000 ranks. Yeah. yeah. My mind is on. Yeah, that, that's like, basically oh. what happened with us. It was one of our best-selling shirts. We got throttled, but that shirt was still up. So I know it was selling all the way through freaking Q4. And I'm just like, you got to be kidding me, man. Like, and, and not even an attempt either. It was literally just, it was a straight ripoff. Yeah. And it's like, why, if all these people are like getting the ban hammer, why is that person still uploading shirts? Like, that's the thing. Like, you hear all these people, oh, I didn't do anything wrong. And it's like, he did something wrong or she or whoever. Like, why do they still have an account? Like, I don't understand. It's, it sucks. Like, that's like a blatant, like, ripoff, like, violation. Like, you'll, they'll do it again. So, you know. But, Especially for you, because you actually designed this shirt. I know. It was sorry. I get all ex get all passionate because oh, I hate it. It's just like it's so wrong. Like I I try to play by the rules and it's it's just yeah. it's yeah. But whatever. the next year, throw up a bunch of copies like your best sellers at the last second. Right. Yeah. Oh, all right. Just an extra copy. Yeah. Try that. Next year, I, next year I'm gonna go heavy on Heather. Shirts either because they were the first to go. Well, I started yeah. uploading to premium Heather purposely to try to get right buy that, but I was like every single thing that was selling was basically just hidden. gone. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm hoping we won't run into these same problems next year, but you know, I'm hoping it'll be better anyways. You know, I I, I do think that them having that factory in Pennsylvania that got you know delayed definitely played a big part into some of the problems they had in Q4. So we'll see. <laughs> I mean, we're already ahead of the game now. Better than last year. Yeah, compared to last year. I mean, last year, situation they had no idea when it was coming back. Right. Yeah. Turned out they had to wait an extra full two months mm -hmm. before they even came back to the table. And we're looking, what, like, did not even the end of the year, and yeah. they've opened the gates back up for us. Why they did tear up first? Yeah. Yeah. 
I don't know. It's uh, good to get it over with, though, because syrups always screws up everything for me. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm ready to get back some of our uploads. Like, I'm ready to, to start actually putting some stuff up. I, it, It's pretty obvious that, like, the, they're not going to get swamped by a bunch of demand right now. So, like, I don't understand why they haven't, you know, given us back the uploads either. I mean, yeah, maybe they're, just, maybe they're still going day. through everybody's account still, you know. Is everybody on Frozen now? Yeah. Everybody is? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. should be. Well, that's a good sign, I guess, before the end of the year. If yeah. you haven't gotten on Frozen, you might get them. <laughs> 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 Just saying. A lot of people did get banned, didn't they? For sure. God. Well, this was really fun, guys. Yeah. We definitely need to do this again um, further on down the road um, and just kind of touch base again and, and find out where you guys are and what's going on with you guys in terms of uh, everything that you guys do. Yeah. What was the website again? It's $5 merch.com. Okay, I'll put it in the uh, in I the knew links. I what it was. I just wanted you to say it again so they could hear it. <laughs> All right. Next time we come out to California, you got to put us on some good food. Uh, oh. I can I can take care of that. And I swear I will have Matt get that rolls recipe to you this week. The rolls recipe. You know, I did do my cinnamon roll recipe yeah. too. I yeah. Know. But it's written out. So I gotta we got the same it problem. Out. It's it's an old recipe that's written out, and like I have to translate it because it's like yeah. old and faded, and I have to like look at it. We just have a picture of it. Yeah. Random measurements. Uh-huh. I don't know. I, I send like video of Courtney's cooking. We got a food thing going here. So we'll make mac and cheese. Yeah. 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 He's actually making that tomorrow night as part of our New Year's <laughs> Eve dinner. Yep. So. I made the other day and it's like gone. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's typically what ends up happening is like it, it ends up being gone. Yeah. It's our, until it's the last meal of the year, we're going all out. <laughs> yep. So. Um, all right, guys. Well, thank you. This was awesome. Yeah. Have a good night. Thank you. All right, y'all. See y'all. Bye. 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 <laughs>